Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are back in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. It's been a while since I've made the first video in the series, which was released last week. About a year. Um, I just haven't got around to playing this, so I'm quite looking forward to going through it with you. Um, as you can see, we are in our lovely apartment. Yeah. Yes. So in the meantime, since I last played, I have been messing with some of the mods just to make sure everything's worked. For example, I, the shaders are working and the lighting effects. I just noticed a Lacuna Coil poster. Good choice. Good choice. Anyway, um, we need to go and find Mercurio. What's that? Carval of Death. Gruesome remains found at Pier. Police battle. Obviously, we need to look into later. Sounds good. Let's go. You got, you got some change, mister? Um, uh, what? Here, let me put some fortune in your misfortune. I'm the fattest piggy bank in the world, but I will not break for you. You cannot quench your first with lonely dark who could, hmm? What should appear in the doorstep of the... What? Nice juicy fly. I'll say... Number three, because I don't want to give you any money, but I do, I do need you. Ah, yeah, ah, nom, 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 nom. Hi. Right, you relax, I'll come back for more later. Alright, there we go. I uh, also looked into the fact that there's some wavy cables. It's got something to do with the Malkavian bloodline. It doesn't do it for anyone else. It's the, because Malkavians see things differently. Which is a nice thing added by this mod team. Uh, who repurposed the game with better graphics and stuff. It's a weird touch, I have to admit. Let's have Mercurio in there. Hello. You look shifty. Why are you just standing there? I'm going there? to need to bathe when I get home. Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. What time is it? What strings pull you, stranger? A nothing. With no, nothing. Dolls. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer, old army buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. Okay. Could I persuade you to provide me with funds recently pilfered from me? <laughs> Perhaps we might make a sweet street-side rendezvous. We all wear the night like a serrated shawl. Farewell. Shall I try and mug him? Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. Perhaps we might make a sweet strato. Let's, let's leave of alone. all the places to have car problems. You look suspicious. I don't trust you. Well, I'm going to check out this fella here. I have a feeling that's Mercurio. Hmm. Blood, 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 blood. What? You alright, fella? Is there anything to steal first? Oh, okay. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you the fleet footed god? Uh, Mercurio, if that's what you mean. No. Oh. Shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? Damn, that's the last thing I need. I'm bleeding all over the carpet. I can't even understand what the hell you're saying. You need only open your eyes now. Tell me your tale. I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Reveal your clumsy assassins and I will finish their task. Ooh, or I'll finish it. Hypocrites. Hi oh, Hippocrates is not my forefather. Who broke you, Mercurio? You are a silly dying man. Who broke you, Mercurio? Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in LA. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Oh. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I um, never should have gone alone. No. Nah. Amateur move. Yes. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers. Easy to me and left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Astrolite? Uh, do you have the boom boom? Where are the demons who attacked you, Mercu Mer Mercury? <laughs> You're a mouse playing among giants. The, sh the prince shall know. Of what blood do you speak? I, I don't need to ask that. Do you have the boom boom? Hold on. You think I'm some amateur? I got their number. 
Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. Tell me where my feet must travel. Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Yes. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. Seems as the fleet-footed god needs a helping hand. I see, so I must become like the wayward whale and hit the beach. Makiri is no is not so fleet, so I must be going. Oh, well, I can't. That's so hard to read, I gave you. It really is. You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it. I know. Yes, you did. Nob. All right. I'll get the boom boom and your gold, Mercury. Mercury. My assistance may help you greatly. Uh, the moon shows a path uh, is best taken. Farewell. I, you wear the mottled mantle of failure. Death should have claimed you. Um, two. Yeah, if you could. Oh, something just started leaking. Uh, I need something for the pain. I shall return with some numbness, Mercurio. Ah, uh, one more thing about the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Your words will be weighed, Mercury. Farewell. Hiding this from the voices won't be easy. I will try. I am not here. Right, okay. Painkiller. Do I have painkillers? I'm pretty sure I picked up. <laughs> Estrogen. Okay, we don't need that. Right, let's go to the beach. Aha. Right, so there's stairs down somewhere. Let's find those. Aha! I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. The poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you'd think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse? I don't know. Being torn in half sounds quite horrific, but uh, I don't think it was horses, mate. Don't think it was horses. I smell rats and grave. The voices in my head are freaking me out. Are you the person? Up there. Hello. Through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Uh, the demons who broke the fleet footed god? Those men you are looking for. You see the twisted strings of my tomorrow. Speak more. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Wouldn't I? May the moon light your twisted path. Alright, they're up there, are they? What is that? I see you up there! Hmm. How do I get in there? Aha! Is she framing me? She better not be setting me up for failure here. Hello. Help ya! Help ya! I want to go to Never Never Land. Step aside, gatekeeper. Hey there, beach boy, let me in. And later I'll let you bury me in the sand. <laughs> I wonder what your brain looks like in the light, in this light. Uh. Okay, you can go on. It. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. Your words echo in the vast emptiness of my head. Farewell. Okay, alright. Is there anything to steal first? So anything to steal before I go in. Dude, who turned off the power? I was just Dog. about to unlock Shen. Fix the lights, damn it! You turn on the power. Fix bitch. the lights, Al. Fix the lights, or I'll shove that control up your ass, Al.
This is all gone horribly wrong already. I need to feed on this dude. Can I do that whilst in combat? Yes! Oh, no! No! Alright, don't turn the lights off. <laughs> oh, I have to remember that fighting's not my strong Help voice. <laughs> okay, you can go on. Alright, let's not turn the lights off this time. Where's the door? <laughs> not quite more combat, mate, is it? Right. Hello. I'll take that. Will they attack me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, don't steal anything. What is... That is very heavy. Alright, okay. Um... I don't have a password. Um... Oh, that doesn't help. Shut up. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Look real good at me. Before we do business, before anything changes hands, I want you to hear this. If you try to cross me, I will fuck you. Easy. If you tell the cops about me, I will find you. Then I will fuck you. And if you are a cop, I will. Do I look like a cop? And your whole family, including that squirrel in your front yard. What can I do to make you walk out feeling like you just flew first class with a cheerleader in your lap? What's in your little green bag? I need astral light to set the sky on fire. Do you have the... Do you know the fleet-footed god? I don't think I should really ask about Mercurio. Or should I? Fleet-footed god? What are you talking about? You've got to be on something. Yeah, I'm on something. Mercurio? Yeah, we know him. We know Mercurio, don't we? How is our friend Mercurio? Uh, he carries the scars of your betrayal and come to take what is his. He'll be better when I make him a gift to your vital. Is that a fact, Jack? Damn. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you can get out of here without a bullet through your face, I'll let you keep it. I accept. Hey, hold on. Here we go, man. He's dead. Right, okay. Ow! Ow! I'm gonna die again! Why oh, am I so bad at this? <laughs> Alright, let's try a different option. Let's not mention Mercurio. 
My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggers board of A plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, reds, black, you pick a color. No. I need explosives. Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? The fish are ripe for hunting. I want to set the night of fire. There's gold in them there hills and my ex. <laughs> uh, I'll go get with that one. Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. Oh, well, yeah. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. My pockets are empty as my head. You mean you've been wasting my time? Ah, I fucking hate that shit. Get out of my house before I feed your broke pale ass to my dogs. Put the weapon away! It won't let me put the weapon away. Right, okay. Um, I'm stuck in third person mode, which is fine. But ultimately, I need these explosives, so I need to kill them. This isn't going to go well. Get the lights or I'll shove that control up your ass. Uh, all right, man. Shit. <laughs> this is how we're gonna roll right okay all right we need all specs well there's two of them in here There's three of them in here. Interesting. I need the money. Where's the money? Drain him dry. Enough does four damage potential twelve, which is slightly more and more lethality than the baseball bat. So we'll can I where can I use that? No, I don't want to give it. There we go. Weapon. 
equip, use, some knives throughout the intelligence, yeah, yeah, whatever. Right, so we've managed to get what we needed. Stop hitting me! What does mass hallucination do? It does nothing! They're meant to be attacking each other! I'm out. I'm just out. We got the money, we got the explosives. Let's go! <laughs> 250 quid is very cheap for explosives. That is so precarious. Ugh. There we go. Oh yeah, yay! I need to remember, I need to talk my way out of situations because I cannot fight for shit. All right, where am I going? Uh huh. You were weird. You have been. No, no, you are going to China. Am I? Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? No. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh god. Oh god. Run. What? Ah, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. Um, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. No. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. No. I need money to leave this place. I'm not giving you any money. Take 20 gold and speak your riddle. Yeah. Then ask again. Hmm. In whom can the I place my the trust? Couch, the lone wolf. All others tread carefully. So, Mercurio and Jack. Okay. Those with a lot to say? usually have something on their mind. True, true. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. Who's E? Are you E? Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? He walks among us playing his ancient game. Huh? You mean he's around here? Where? And, and what game is he playing? I, I really need to find him. Why? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Uh, what? <laughs> Only oh. a silver screen dream. But um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? You can transfuse the blood of a one-horned horse. Nah, nah, we'll tell them the truth. What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? Nope. What? You're not having a blast? But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. In dreams you will be, and I will be a dinosaur. Rawr! Yeah, I'm going with that one. There's nothing I can do. I I'm damned. Sorrow will be your companion. Yeah, go away. You've got a wood. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. I will cast no shadow on your flame, little sickling. Let us trade words and more unmemorable, whatever. You mean you ain't here to run us off? No. No, but I pity you to be trapped within invisible walls. We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. That's all good. Who is a hunter and why? I don't know. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. 
Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Who's clam blood as it runs through your veins? Clam? See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. How did your blood go from thick to thin? I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Oh, her. It's always a woman. Yes. The flower girl? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing me. Lily? The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone and... She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now. A mystery to myself. That's your own fault then, isn't it? Is your flower girl dead? We're all... Yeah, that's last time. Clinically, that. yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Does the thin blood flow for you all? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. We're all children of the night. I don't know, perhaps I can delve the mysteries of your thin blood. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Secrets hidden from you may show themselves to me. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. Hello, E. The black haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And the one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. Okay. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. A diner? Maybe you could start there. Thin blood. Right. Oh, Thinking brother. I'm not interested in talking to Copper. Let's go. Let's have a look at the log, actually. So, uh, Carnival Death can't do. Why are they green? All right, we need some painkillers. You retrieve the astolite and yeah, that's fine. Let's get back to Mercurio. Mercurio, I've got your blow up doll. What? <laughs> I've got your explosives. I've got your boom boom sticks. Hello, Mercurio, are you alive? Have you crossed the river, Mercurio? Mercury? Uh. Eh. I got your boom boom. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Only those that tell. Only those that fell on my shadow, yeah, that's true. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Here's your gold. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. <laughs> Where do I you go now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. <laughs> Who tells me where this house of wares? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Tong? Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Oh, that's great stuff. The worm hides in turbid liquids. Are there other voices for me to hear? Let's try that one. I don't know him. But about this Tong. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Jerry's Vorman, you know? Oh, no, no. Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Or is his dark daughter of Janice? She and his sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Ah. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. 
What can you tell me about the dark daughter of Janus? What? What? The white daughter of Janus? What? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, <laughs> personality like stone. I need you to paint oh, me a picture of someone. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart hmm. guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Tell me of the lady and her people. Who exactly? Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Oh, whispers. Right. Jeanette got a body built for bedroom. <laughs> and I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man and he says, you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Easy, Tiger. Who exactly? You. I say goodbye. Whatever. We're out. We need to go to the asylum. Let's go. I do need to feed, but it's not urgent just Done. yet. Oh, thank you. Don't tell me I could have just gone through that alley. Uh, whatever. Da -da 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 -da. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. How was that? Anyway. Wow. All right. Hello. Ooh, what do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? Mmm, you smell new, little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? Uh, I see before me a beauty who shares the madness of my mind. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh my, a Malkavian. This ought to be absolutely delicious. Two minds as crazy as ours, and who knows just what might happen. She's got two different coloured eyes. Mm. Greetings, daughter of Janus. <laughs> oh, but you've got it bad, little boy. Not sure exactly what is real and what isn't. Janus, let's see. Isn't that a two-faced Roman god? Of course, you're right. You just happened to meet the prettier face first. You are the whiteness, she the alabaster and ivory. She of Ab Oh, whatever. I can't read. <laughs> Wait until Therese hears that. I am white to her black. She'll be absolutely furious. Of course, I won't be wearing white to any weddings, but we can talk about that later. Look at the face. Look at the smirk. <laughs> oh, hang on. We've got a flirty option here. What have we got? Tell me your name, daughter of Janus. Fear and love are two sides of the same coin. Only with the smell of my many... I'm going to do number two. Why not? <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. What the hell is that mean? <laughs> you, think, you mean we're both rolled up and twisted? When we get turned on, there's bound to be fun. Burn, baby, burn. Give me the pleasure of your label. I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Just tell me, dumbass. Oh, number two. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite sweet and soon, I promise. You make manners feel like my last sunrise. Until our shattered minds are still number one.
You bummer. Yeah. I think the daughters of Janus. I've just spoken to them. Janus? The hell are you talking about? Damn, I always get the weird ones. The sisters spawned of the two headed god. Uh, like the only sisters around here are Therese and Jeanette. They own the place. They're both upstairs fighting as usual. Why do you need to see them? Uh, Therese said that she needed another ale monkey. Why not? What? Are you serious? I've worked for that bitch the last 15 years, and now she's replacing me? Well, you can go take the elevator over there up and tell her she can kiss my ass. I'm out of here. I'll cry 80 proof tears for you. Goodbye. I shall. I haven't seen dancing all that in a while, I have to admit. Right, elevator. We're in. No. Two. Two. Carnival of Death, yeah, well, it's, uh, oh. Poor kitty. Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica, not stuck up bit. <laughs> oh, God. I can't even look at you sometimes. Oh, please. You really do kind of flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but the same. Rustling robes of the Reaper. Sight of that wicked painted tongue. Concealing that dirty disease mind. Dark. You have no shame. Dreaming. <laughs> Let's see who is without shame. Past the fierce tone. Go ahead. Shut up, voices. You pull your pranks. Make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck? What am I doing here? Well, I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Hello? Hello? Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Are you Therese, the, door, the dark daughter of Janice? Uh, yes. Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? You're at the trial, you know. Uh, call off your conflict to the worm, dark one. Uh, does not the white mistress own this? Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scout? Oh, he's a Nosferatu, eh? Hey? Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. I don't want to meddle with your madness. Just make a wormy peace. What, what has brought your darkness upon him? Yeah, let's do that. He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Oh. I will pluck this worm from the ground and dissect. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do the Why would one. I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? No idea. What? I am no politicking... What? <laughs> politicking bloodsucker. I need to see the worm. Tongue and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Uh, why? I can't find anything. Uh, a better use of my time would be anything else. <laughs> I want to do that one. I want to do number one. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. 
So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. If you will give word to the worm that we is not wanted, I will go. And if this trinket will not be found? If you have to tear the building apart, do so. Three construction crews have already refused to go back to work because they've been spooked, so to speak. How to battle the ethereal? You don't. They're perfectly harmless. If you'll give word... They're not. <laughs> They're not harmless at all. If you will give word to the worm... Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I fully intend to do so. Mm. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Okay. Then I am off to the house in the ocean. Your words are like the reddest nectar. Let's, let's be nice. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. I'll do what needs to be if done. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Um, a few more answers? No. Why so much hate between now? Uh, tell me your sister, the white prince. Yeah. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five-and-dime. <laughs> Alright, okay. I'm no longer here. I want to have a look around. It's weird. That is a weird statue. Anyway, anyway... It Whoa. Presumably she went in there. Right, okay, so let's let's just go. We're out, we're out. Uh, let me go, come on. So we need to go to Ocean House to hunt for an item to stop a ghost. There was a door this side. Thank you. Alright, what's up here? Who are you? You look suspicious. Sheesh, is this place always so dead? Uh, death is only a sweet beginning, my lovely. Ooh, that was an interesting thing to say. What are you, some kind of barroom philosopher? You're just trying to pick me up. I'll pick you up and take you into the wonderfully dark, delicious delirium. Why not? I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, my lovely. Just come to me and let yourself I love go. My dollies. You wanna come play with them? Dollies like to be squeezed. Oh god, she hasn't got a lot of blood. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's enough, that's enough. Leave it be. Alright! Beautiful angel, my dreams invaded my whatever. <laughs> you look like I would if I were you. <laughs> what am I? Yeah. If you were the last person, shut I'd up. I'd reconsider my. We're out. Right, so we need to go to the sewers to get to a haunted house. Let's go have a quick butchers at the log. Here we go. Green ones, I assume, are core, like, main quests. Do I have any experience to spend? No, I have seven. Cost ten. See, I, I, I'd like to do all, like, the social stuff. Um... Right, so we did a little bit of a level up there, so we need to get in the sewers. They did say something about a diner. 
So let's let's check out the diner first for thin blood stuff. Mr. Milton, <coughs> I don't know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. He sounds suspicious. Let's talk to him. Something I can help you with. Perhaps. Not tis as cold as a woman wronged. I guess. A strange weight lies on your shoulder. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Dark and heavy your burden. I leave it Goodbye, to you. Goodbye, then. I feel like I'm going to have to kill you later. Anyway. Old lady. Weird dead looking dude beyond the counter. Hello. What'll it be? In the air, spoiled scent on the floor, rodent pellets, you sell filth here. I see a pale girl in my mind. Have you seen the pale girl? Is that a trick question? Sure you have seen the blood drinkers quaffing the crimson meat? Mm. No. Do the pale girls play here? Thin blood, do you know the words? Child of the Surf and Beauty. Child of the Surf and Beauty. Hmm, let me think. <clears throat> oh yeah, about four dozen a week. Sure you have seen... Uh, uh, Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Ah. So where did you hear the word thin blood enter your brain? Mm. I know I've heard that before. A pale, pretty flower girl muttered them, perhaps? Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. But she wasn't a human! Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. Oh. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? But the flag was so close. Ah, uh, she cannot come, so I will deliver them. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Where's the <this> stuff? <clears throat> Did you give me the stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, what we got? Lily. So we're looking for some sort of hippie. Right, okay. Well, I still got any explosives. <clears throat> All right, log. Uh, you have retrieved Lily's belongings in the dining. This was a small one. And a bail bond? A bail bond. Right, so bail bonds. Anything else in here? Uh, I'm busy here. I uh, wasn't talking to you, dumbass. Right. The roots of this city wrap around the great. There's bail bonds. Let's have a quick look in here. Hello. I don't care. I need to find him so he can find him. It's 250 grand of my money on the line here. Look, look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about either. You. Hello there. How you been? Oh, right, gorgeous. Greetings. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Are you the key master? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Key master, huh? Might be worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica key master. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. Can I pluck your answers from sure, your brain? Now, what is it? Tell me of this business of bonds and bounties. Bail bonding? What do you want to know? Do you alone hold freedom keys? Are there many bounties to hunt? I have questions bursting from me or whatever. Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. You seem alone here, oh large wasted warrior. I bondsman to keep the place open 24 hours, plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is the lady of the sea so diseased? 
You mean Santa Monica? You sure got a strange way of saying things. This old burg has gone downhill in the past few years, if you ask me. Lots of shady types moving in, which ain't bad for business, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And these shadows steal your keys. You talking about bail jumpers? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we got plenty of those. That's why I got a bounty hunter for. Hunting bounties sound exciting. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Oh, really? Does your hunter have good balls of brass? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. I reckon he's dead. Maybe you need to find a different set of brass balls. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do that one. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Yes, yes, do so. I'll dig up the Hunter of Bounties. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Marvelous. I have more questions. Sure, pal. What is it? I'm no longer here. Oh, I've got a bail bond. Look, it says in the quest log. <laughs> it's a Rolf totem. Oh, it's not for her. What's shaking? Oh, hang on. I can use this computer, probably. Seriously, job these up here. Here, try this one. Hmm. Hey, mm. mother f***ing great chicken right there. What is this? <laughs> it's friggin' chicken. This is cat, right? Are you feeding? What was his cat? name? Try this. What was his oh, name? F um, totem. Right, totem. That's All right. good. What the f*** is this? Sh no, not a <laughs> what is happening on the radio? Over the competition. Because <laughs> that's some good f***ing chicken. I mean, friggin' anyway, chicken. Anyway, written. Friggin chicken. You'll amount fifteen thousand. You've ever had. You Lightning Bird 77 notes. Go back to Germania, pal. We don't take the euro in these parts. But now prepare for the most hilarious talking. Shut up! I found the reference to Rolf Tome. His car is a red Lightning Bird 77 license. Reads Guy Connie. Perhaps you should find his car. This food looks great. Anyway, moving on. Just let the car be in the car park. To you? Aha! What is this? I want that. Right. Uh, log. Okay, you have located Lily's journal. Her last entry mentions a plan of hers to break into the local blood bank. That's... that's that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Right, we're gonna go to the sewers. We're gonna head to that wherever that door is for the haunted house, which is where. <laughs> that doesn't help. Right. Moderately creepy down here. I quite like it. Aha! Are we there? Is this the haunted house? Perhaps. Why voices? Oh, that's not terrifying at all. The fact we have to go in there and find an item that belongs to a ghost. I think I regret choosing the Malkavia now. The voices are creeping me out. Anyway, 
Thank you very much for joining me into our first steps into Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. It's a bit better than I remember, to be honest. The dialogue is really, really interesting. It's very well voice acted. So if you have enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you feel that way inclined. But we will return to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines at a later time, but I will see you in the next video.